Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Mu here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what I'm gonna do with my, not my Samsung 960 Pro, but actually the SSD that I had replaced on my Samsung Notebook 9 Pro. So I had mentioned before that uh, after I did the upgrade to the 960 Pro, uh, right over here, um, that I was either gonna sell the SSD that came out of it on Craigslist or do something else with it. Well, what I decided to do was to go online and find some sort of enclosure that would work with the SSD. So this is what I ended up uh, finding. It is, it looks like it's, it's called the Kingshire and it is an SSD case with a C7 USB 3.0 external enclosure uh, for M.2 SSDs. The reason why I chose this one was uh, obviously the price was a bit of a concern. I wanted something cheap and good and you know the prices actually ranged quite a bit um, all the way across the board. So this guy actually only ended up being $15.99 it uh, was one of the best looking ones that I actually saw online on Amazon and it actually has a nice gold finish. I was hoping to find one that would match with the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro, but uh, I, I didn't find it at the time and they didn't have that many of these left. So it turns out, looks like the, the prices, usually the di what differentiates some of these products is, um, you know, the design, the way it looks. And by looking at the way this aluminum and the case was designed and formed, it very much reminds me of something that I would find as a quality product, perhaps over at the Apple store. So the pictures did not do it justice on amazon.com uh, and I'll have links again to this below. But the basic structure of the SSD and the chips, I think did not vary all that much. Keep in mind that this will only work with SATA interfaces. It will not work with uh, NVMe interfaces. To my knowledge, there are no great cheap solutions that allow you to use that unless you do some sort of proprietary thing like what DJI does. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my old SSD. If you remember that I went ahead and put, um, put back into this case temporarily. And I'm just gonna go ahead and install this and we'll run some test results and see how the quality ends up looking like. All right. So this is not the Samsung uh, solid state that was originally in here. However, the SSD in here was a Samsung device. This was the model MZ-NLN256A. It's a 256 uh, gigabyte unit that I got directly from, uh, from my Samsung Notebook uh, 9 Pro 2017 edition. What's pretty nice is that they actually give you all the tools you need. I was gonna say, hey, make sure you bring out your, um, your screwdriver set but they actually give you a set that's you know really cheap and good enough for one-time use. They even give you a short little USB 3.0 cable and the screws and everything to, uh, to assemble all this stuff. And also uh, looks like little face plates here that allow me to go ahead and uh, replace or, or finish up the entire thing all in here together. All right, so something just blew away. I'll be right back. Okay, so all this is, is uh, when you do purchase these, if you're not gonna get one of these or not gonna get the Kingshare one, is you wanna make sure that it is compatible with your SSD. So this one was, um, it tells you the different, the different sizes that this would be compatible with, and it's actually on the box over here. I actually don't remember the name of all the other ones. It's like 2280, 2240, uh, 2260, those are all the different lengths of the uh, SSDs that this supports. This, I believe, is a full-on 2280, which would take that whole full length of, of, this, uh, of this interface card. All right, so all I gotta do is just slide that in, just kind of like before, make sure it's a, see that it kind of snapped right in there. And then I just need to put, find that screw and screw it in right there. And actually the way it is right now, um, well, actually, after I put in the screw, and go and try try out the cheap uh, cheap screwdrivers that came with, maybe. Or actually, if this one's ready to go, I'll just go ahead and use mine. So all you got to do is screw that in there. I want to say be careful, but really, there's only one screw. You can't. It's very hard to screw this part up. Um, but 
the problem is I'm angled a little bit differently trying to get out of the way of the camera so that you can see. So it's a little bit uh, awkward for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna screw that in there. Don't need to screw it in too tight, you know, tight enough. After you do a number of these things, you'll find a, a way to gauge it. All right, that's it. And technically, if I actually just take this and plug this into here, it should work. And this is this particular one is, of course, uh, Mac and Windows compatible. My understanding, most of these things are. Okay, so then this guy will then slide in right over here. It looks like they just have extra parts in here. Now, if you notice, there's this little slot here for an LED, and you'll want to line that up with where the LED interface is over here. It looks like that's the way it's supposed to go. So I'm just going to slide this right in there. Carefully. Carefully try to slide this in there. Am I doing that right? Yep, there we go. So then that should all line up just right. Yeah, it looks like it does. It's uh, pretty well uh, keyed. And then I need to find, I guess then I need to stick on this, uh, these parts over here to basically lock it down. Let's see. It looks like it's just tape. Wow. So I screw, basically, um, I just screw this to hold it in there, and then you got a nice uh, 3M double-sided tape that then you go ahead and uh, slot that in there. And then we got the standard spare parts, which I don't think I need. I don't think I need these spare parts. But it's nice that they have them. That's, that's uh, kind of um, refreshing. Okay. So there's these two little black screws, which then I will carefully put this in there. Oh. It's a little bit windy where I'm recording right now. Okay, there we go. But I just love shooting in the natural light. So the wind blow away my other screw. Standard parts there, there, not the black screws here. Hopefully I finish this before all my parts get blown away by the wind today. Okay, screw that in there. Actually, if I just want to leave it like this, this is fine too, but they have this piece that is, looks like it is close, fairly closely color matched. So all I got to do this is just remove this and then tape on the back. And then that's it. I have a nice, fast, external USB 3.0 SSD. This part doesn't seem to fit all that all that great here, to be honest. Might be that I am not using the right screws. Maybe I should be using these flat ones. Standard parts, yeah. I should be using the flat ones, not the black ones. This is partly what happens if you use, if you give too many parts. And the parts end up being the wrong ones. I need to use the flathead ones to screw in this way it will stay up nice and flush and mount there we go Now USB 3 speeds are going to be just fine for the speeds that I get out of this. So 
don't think that you need to be a really expensive one or anyone that says USB 3.1. This is definitely more than capable of handling that. There we go. So now it's flush. And this is really sticky tape. 3M makes some really, really sticky double-sided tape. And that would fit in right nicely over here. Problem is, once I stick this on here, like so, it's nice and flush, is that if I need to change or upgrade this any point in time, I'm going to have to carefully remove this. But look at that. That actually finished up pretty nicely. Okay. And then all this is is plugs that right in. It's really beautiful. This is a 256 uh, gigabyte SSD that I otherwise would not be using or uh, might be selling on uh, Craigslist. And now I have turned it into a nice USB 3.0 external drive for, uh, for backups or for photography or um, videos that I'll be traveling and taking a lot of within the next two weeks. Okay, so that was it. Uh, let me know if you like this video, if you found this useful at all. Uh, I, try to, I try to not speed things through, give you a real world example of what it's like to actually do one of these. Um, this is really basic for, so for anybody who's technically inclined, um, this is really basic stuff. But I do have some friends and people who just don't do anything with these and I know who you are. You, get, you take them out and you just leave them somewhere when just for $15 and maybe about 20 minutes of your time you can get it all set up and ready to use um, on the go. And this is the best case that I found for the money. Alright, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.